Hello world and welcome to Click Tech's How To Series. And this is how to install an SSD into an HP 215G1 laptop unit. Before anything else, this video only shows how a home user will open an HP 215G1 laptop for the purpose of replacing the old hard disk drive with a new solid state drive. There are more procedures involved in this entire SSD upgrade and I highly suggest you consult your local computer repair shop for more details. In this guide you will need 4 main things, a laptop unit, a flat screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and an SSD. Of course please do make sure that you're working on a clear workspace. The entire procedure will be divided into four main phases. Phase one will be opening your laptop. Phase two will be removing your old HDD or hard disk drive. Phase three will be installing your new SSD. Phase four will be closing your unit. Please do make sure that the power cord is not connected into the laptop unit. Trying to be safe here. And without further ado, let's get on with phase 1. Popping the unit open. I do find it easier for the entire thing if we take off the battery first. So let's do that. One good thing about this laptop is the cover is not screwed into the unit. So that makes things easier for us. In this part, we'll just be using a flat screwdriver to open the unit. So. Just get a sweet spot on the side, find a crevice to jam your screwdriver in, and pop it open. One good thing about this type of cover is if you get one side up, it'll just be as easy as lifting the cover off the board. As you can see, this is how your laptop looks like underneath. This is your hard disk drive and that is your RAM. Let's fast forward that and from this point on it'll just be you and your Phillips screwdriver. Now before we get into uh, the actual hard disk drive we will have to go through the hard drive caddy which is the metal case right on top of the hard disk drive. You want to unscrew that like so. That'll be four total screws. And then after that, just lift it up. Now you want to disconnect the serial ETA cable, which is the cable that connects your laptop into the hard drive. Now, uh, as you can see, the hard disk drive is actually attached into with the caddy, like so. Now you want to flip to the sides of the hard drive, and you'll see two small screws. That will be four in total, and you want to take that one off too. One good thing to do at this point is to have a good look at how the hard drive is connected on the caddy. Uh, if you notice, the hard drive pins are actually facing up towards the metal part and it's exposed out on a rectangular strip. Now after taking off the hard disk drive, we are actually in phase 3. And uh, this is the point where we install the SSD onto the caddy. After taking off the hard disk drive from the caddy, this is now phase 3 of the entire procedure, which is installing the SSD. 
from this point on it's just actually doing the entire procedure again but in reverse so at this point you want to take the SSD and position it back just like how the hard disk drive was just make sure that the pins are facing towards the metal part of the caddy and it's on the side where the rectangular strip is like so now we want to put back all four screws two on each side And now we want to connect the serial ADA. After that, just uh, drop the SSD back into its bay and put all four screws back. this point we are pretty much done all that's left to do is putting the laptop case back and now we're officially done thank you for watching and um, have a good day